there are two words uh, or uh, two phrases you can say literary criticism or literary theory two words so what is literary theory criticism when we say literary criticism we say uh, we think about studying a work evaluating a work and interpreting interpreting that work so there are three words uh, first one is study second is evaluation and third one is interpretation hello friends you are most welcome on my youtube channel and please don't forget to subscribe my channel click on subscribe here दोस्तों अगर आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करते हैं तो आपको आने वाली वीडियोस का लिंक आसानी से मिलता रहेगा आशा करता हूं कि चैनल आपकी तैयारी में हेल्पफुल होगा गुड लक फ्रेंड्स नाउ एंजॉय द वीडियो लिटरेरी थ्योरी इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट एन आइडिया ऑफ अ पर्सन अबाउट अबाउट अ वर्क यू कैन से अबाउट अ पोएट्री अबाउट नॉवल और अबाउट समथिंग एल्स सो दैट इज लिटरेरी थ्योरी दैट बिकम्स लाइक uh about poetry words what words were says it becomes his theory and what ts eliot says it becomes his theory okay mass you are not our colonies so these uh people whatever they say about literary theory that becomes their uh their theory okay whatever they say about uh poetry or prose work that becomes their theory but the the way they study they evaluate and interpretation that process is called criticism all right let's go ahead these are important uh, critics here history of uh, criticism literary criticism uh, is divided into five parts i have divided it into five parts so let's see classical and uh, medieval criticism okay the time of plato and aristotle renaissance criticism then enlightenment criticism and 19th century romantic criticism and the new criticism okay one by one we will be talking about these criticism the first one is uh, as i told you classical and medieval criticism in this part we can have these people first aristotle's poetic concept uh, he has here uh, given the concepts of mimesis catharsis okay and uh, such terms we will be talking in detail after this video in next video we will be taking a classical and medieval criticism and uh, we will be talking about poetics what he has written and what concept he has given, uh, given like what is mimesis and what is catharsis mean purification okay <clears throat> what he has uh, you know talked about uh, uh, tragedy and what are the parts and uh, how it should be done how it should be written how it should be composed okay and what he has written about poetry later plato attacks on poetry it is his theory we can say okay he critique uh, criticize poetry on basis of something and uh, he called it imitative he called it secondary he called poet, uh, poetry false so this is basic idea you can have in your mind uh, you can have uh, a mind map uh so in future when whenever we will be talking about uh, literary criticism definitely we will have a fine idea about literary criticism because we it must be uh, you know in sequence so that we can uh, revise next is in hindi we can say or in sanskrit language bharat muni he wrote natya shastra that's a great uh, you know work uh, when i was reading natya shastra i i felt uh, that it was really awesome later homeneutics uh i have written this term to discuss in further videos okay <clears throat> next one is renaissance criticism in renaissance criticism developed ideas of unity of form and content later we will come to know about what is the unity of form and content they proclaimed literature as central to culture okay means in renaissance criticism when somebody ask you what is renaissance criticism you can have uh, you know uh, some idea about this that unity of form and content they talked about and they proclaimed literature as central to lit uh, culture a birth of renaissance criticism and uh, birth of uh, for birth of renaissance criticism you can uh, remember two years first is uh, 1948 and second is 1517 and uh, remember this name uh, lodovico costel vetro okay he did some translation work <clears throat> also 
and uh, in 1940 there was discovery of classical text and who, which classical text we are talking about we are talking about poetics okay from medieval criticism ancient criticism so here yeah, it was translated by uh, Georgi Waller uh, G I O R G I O and V A W L A so this this was the person who who translated this work next is uh, enlightenment criticism it was between 1700 to 1800 and there was a big change uh, enlightenment criticism what was the big change uh, actually the big change was because of the printing of the books more people were uh, you know literate they could read and the literacy rate rises that's why lots of people started reading the works before this only elite group was reading uh, there were a few people were you know able to read so there was uh, less amount of uh, we can say criticism but now lots of people are reading so lots of people have idea they could uh, you know as i told you whenever we are talking about criticism we are talking about these things so when uh, in that period more people were studying so more, more people were evaluating more people were interpret inter uh, doing interpretations okay so that time it increases rapidly next was enlightenment criticism okay we have talked about it and uh, they, that time we saw a work Gulliver travels and uh, they came to you know they had their opinion about this work was the detestable story of yahoos and uh, till now classist i have written means uh, uh, after this period after enlightenment criticism there was a rapid change and uh you know till this point till uh this point between 1700 to 1800 they all were like classist classist when we say classist someone is classist he is attached to you know uh the rules what is uh whatever is written uh they will evaluate under strict rules now 19th century romantic criticism when we say romantic so we say either someone is classist or either someone or he is or she is romantic romantic means there is simple uh, this means free from rules they want uh, to use imagination they they want to use they want to focus on aesthetic ideas okay and uh, before this they were classist if you are sticking with rules you are classist if you are free from rules or you want to be free from rules you become romantic so 19th century criticism they started talking aesthetic ideas so when we so when uh, we talk about romantic criticism we talk about aesthetic ideas they were finding the aesthetic, aesthetic pleasure in the work late 19th century a renowned critic massive Arnold came okay so you can remember with uh, romantic period this one <clears throat> new criticism the last uh, one is the new criticism early in this century russian formalism came uh, into existence there was slightly later new criticism uh, came into being and uh, it was in britain and united states they both schools focused on close reading of text so you can see close reading of text and there are uh, if we talk about here okay classical and medieval criticism we are talking about rules how it should be done there are there were so many rules plato aristotle okay they were talking about rules when we come to renaissance criticism they they talk about content and forms still they were strict to rules now next work because they were you know uh, translated uh, by this person vela uh, giorgio vela and uh, they were you know taking out some rules and uh, on the basis of those rules they were uh, doing discussion or they were evaluating a work how it should be done okay so enlightenment criticism then uh, that time still it, they were you know classist and now romantic criticism it uh, after after this 19th century it just got changed and it became aesthetic ideas they were focused next 
here uh, then later the new criticism early in century russian formalism on this they started this is the important thing close reading of the text and reader response theory later we will talk about north of fry anatomy of criticism was and uh, in new criticism these are the things in modern world structuralism post structuralism and continental philosophy and women literature feminism and cultural studies and eco criticism so i have uh, created some videos on these topics short videos i have created you can watch them i will be sharing links in description box so here is a short glimpse of the first day what we are going to talk about in future uh, in in the series of literary criticism if you like to please thumbs up and share this video with your friends and uh, please do uh, you know subscribe to my uh, my blog go there and you can hit follow and uh, definitely whenever i'll uh, post a video you will get notifications bye bye take care see you next video